exercise drink water eat well so that your body will thank you for it in the future you want to be a good example to your kids because your kids learn so much from you think of the woman the man that you want to be and every day try to take steps to become your ideal man your ideal woman at this age you can't be living your life anyhow you can't like you really 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 can't educate yourself hi my loves welcome back to my channel my name is Laifa and I'm a youtuber based in Lagos Nigeria if you're just seeing my face for the first time welcome please don't make it your last like this video if you enjoy it at the end of the day and please subscribe if you enjoyed this video in today's video I'm going to be doing a girl talk video when I do videos like this I want you guys to know that I'm not coming from a place of I know it all or I'm not coming from a place of being judgy I want us all to do well so please don't feel attacked or anything like that this is just me advising my younger sister so yeah I'm going to be turning 32 this year October 25th to be exact. I've been on earth for a while so these are basically things that I feel like if you're in your 30s not just necessarily your 30s even in your 20s I feel like you know it's not too early to start doing the things or developing the habits that will impact what the next five years the next 10 years the next 60 years of your life will look like so if you want your life to be a certain way in the next five years you need to start acting accordingly to get to the vision that you see in your head so you cannot be expecting your tomorrow to be like this and you're just lazing around waiting for the day to arrive for you to start acting the way you want your future self to be like i don't know if that makes sense <laughs> but yeah so in this video i'm going to be leaving advice tips on what you should be doing now to have a better tomorrow so if that's something that you'd be interested in watching then keep on watching So the number one thing that I want to talk about is in your 30s, girl, honey, you have to be mindful of what you put in your body. You have to be mindful of what you put in your body. When I was younger, I used to eat anyhow. Like, you know when you're younger, you eat so much. Like, I used to be really skinny. Like, when people see me now, people that knew me from way back when, they're like, I never thought you could put on weight. But like, I used to eat so much and I wouldn't put on weight. So I just kept eating and eating and eating. Oh more, I just blew up. When you're younger, like your metabolism is really fast. But like now, let me just smell food, let me just breathe, let me just perceive food and I'm bloated. It takes forever for that food to go down. Like before I used to eat so heavy at night, like I could go and eat beans, food as heavy as beans at night. You can't be doing that at this age. <laughs> that food will not digest. So now I try to eat heavier meals in the mornings or in the afternoons and i try to eat really light food during supper like before i used to have such a bad habit of eating like even when i'm full i'll keep eating until my plate is cleared up i used to say oh i don't like to waste food and my friend always used to tell me like he's always say what do you mean by you don't like to waste food but you're wasting the food by putting too much fat in your body that you now have to burn so like don't be a glutton i'm talking from experience like i used to eat like i don't have home training before but like now i try to have reduced portions like portion control is like my watch word right now and i plan my meals better now planning your meals helps a lot like i don't know why i haven't been doing it all this while like planning your, your meals help you eat healthier you have to look at your body like like the bible even says your body is the temple of god like you have to be mindful of what you do with this body so at this age like you need to start if you have not started yeah you need to start working on having a healthy relationship with food because all the food you are putting in now it might not even have any effect today it might be tomorrow like i'm telling you that like, it took me years for me to put on weight in years alcohol alcohol is another thing like i see people drink so much alcohol so much alcohol and it amazes me like alcohol leads to diabetes 
Like when you're older, like what you put in your body now will affect your health when you're older. You don't want to be a burden to your kids. You know, you don't want to have IBP, diabetes, heart disease, low blood sugar level, high blood sugar level, low blood sugar level. Like all these things come from all the things that we put in our body when we when we're growing up and all of this just kept piling up. I'm not a dietitian or a nutritionist or a doctor, all of that thing, all of that, but I can tell you from older people around me, like when you see people that are fit. And that leads me to my next point, exercising. Exercising can be quite difficult, I'm not going to lie to you. But when you have a workout community that, like you guys are accountable to each other, like I love my gym people, like we're not friends outside of the gym, but like at the gym we like encourage each other, exercise, drink water, eat well, so that your body will thank you for it in the future. Another thing about eating too much, obesity. Someone said something to me one day and made me really reflect on it, like how many really old people do you see that are obese? Think about it. Like I never actually thought about it like that until she said it to me in those words. Like you want to live long. You want to fulfill every number of your days but to do that you have to start taking care of your body well so your body will thank you for it like you see some men some women they are 60 they look good you know they look good you want to look good it's not when you're 60 that you start trying to look good so you have to start trying to look good now and for exercises like you don't even have to do vigorous exercises it can be as simple as taking a walk in the evenings going swimming swimming is a very good form of exercise there are even like tons of videos on youtube for dance exercises like my gym i love when they do afro dance i'm a piano like they'll put some really high intensity music that you can like literally jam to but like you add like workout routine into it that makes it fun like try to make it fun for yourself so it's not just boring like even with eating healthy try to make it fun like i didn't know before that like healthy like when i think eating healthy i think it was really boring i mean i love food but like i've done my research and i've been trying different kind of foods that they are healthy but they're really nice they're really nice like potato it's really nice salad like Caesar salad oh, gosh like I learned how to do all these foods by myself vegetable stew vegetable sauce like there's just so many variety of healthy meals that are fun so don't just say hey how I would like it healthy if you like swallow there's potato swallow there's oat swallow like there's wheat like there's so many ways to eat healthy just start small like very soon it's become a lifestyle my next point is personal hygiene this cannot be overemphasized. like at your age your personal hygiene has to be on a hundred like it's not just your body it's not just your outfit, it's not just how you dress, like your surroundings. You should not be dirty, you should not be scattered at this age. You might already be a mom, you want to be a good example to your kids because your kids learn so much from you, like you have no idea. Like I used to say, oh I'm not like my mother, but growing up I realized that I'm a lot like my mom. Kids pick up so many things from their parents. So think of your children. Think of the example that you want to be to them. Think of what you want them to see. Think of the woman, the man that you want to be. And every day try to take steps to become your ideal man, your ideal woman. It pains me so much when I see people just dress anyhow. They will not even use deodorants. They will, ugh, we have to start acting like a grown woman like you have to dress the way you want to be addressed and that also includes how you smell like personal hygiene is a topic on its own but as a lady you're supposed to shower nothing less than twice a day when people say they can't smell themselves like that's not true if you're smelling you will know even if you're down there is smelling you will know you don't even need someone else to tell you shower twice a day use deodorant antiperspirants 
antiperspirant and this is another thing that I know people it's not everybody that agrees with me but I feel like you're going out with sleeveless dresses you have a bunch of hair just showing in your armpits it's not a good look for a lady you have to carry yourself well like the way I carry myself now is not the way I, I was carrying myself when I was younger like there are things that you have to learn you can't just blame everything on your upbringing oh this is how I was raised as you're growing up there are things that you need to unlearn relearn research like personal growth is so important if you see changes in a person's life it's almost always linked to the person's personal growth if you are working on yourself it translates to everything your career your relationships so we need to work on personal growth i think this particular tip should actually be personal growth because it's all encompassing the way you carry yourself the way you dress and you, you don't even have to break the bank to look good you know like your natural hair like most of the time you see me i'm always on my natural hair i just slick it back packing neatly your hair is tidy your nails see i don't even have nails on but they are tidy your nails are tidy your outfits you wash it and wash your underwears too ladies like before i'm not going to lie to you i used to wear bras especially black bras i used to wear it a lot of times but i don't do that anymore especially as a busty lady i feel like this should be another video on its own but like ladies let's be real here when you wear bras multiple times it can leave reactions under your busts let me know in the comment section below if you've experienced what I'm talking about. So like, I never repeat my bra. I used to do it a long, long time ago, but I never do it again. So those are just examples of personal hygiene. And that also transcends to skincare. Like when I was growing up, I didn't used to do skincare. Like my mom has always been a skincare freak, but I never understood. I never saw the need. But like when you see people say, oh, black don't crack. Uh-uh. Ask them what they're doing that's making their black not to crack. Like, people go out, especially in Nigeria. Nigeria, for example, is really hot. Like, the sun is scorching. And then you're going out under the sun without something as little as sunscreen. Even if you're not doing anything, sunscreen, that's the barest minimum. Like, be gentle with your skin. Like, love your skin enough to take good care of it. <laughs> Even if you're only doing your skincare routine once a day, like I do mine twice, but to be honest, sometimes I'm really tired. I'll just shower and sleep. Like when I think of the extra 10 minutes, 15 minutes, like the bed is already calling me, but like at least once a day, at least sunscreen. And your skincare routine doesn't even have to be so cumbersome. It can be something as simple as you cleanse your face, you tone, you moisturize, chicken up. It doesn't even have to be so, so much that every time you think of doing it, you get lazy. So that brings me to my next point laziness. Do not be lazy. You should not be lazy. And there's no food for a lazy man or a lazy woman. Like, these are the years that you need to toil. Like, your 20s. You should have been, you should have started toiling like even till now like the way I hustle you think I don't have money in my bank account because I don't want to be working as hard as I'm working now when I'm 70. These are the years for you to till your soil so that your harvest will be bountiful so that by then you'll be taking trips abroad. You know, you'll be going on vacation with your kids, with your spouse. So like now is the time to work. Let me give you one example from my own personal life. Like when I was growing up, my parents did not used to watch movies with us at all. And I used to think in my head, like, how come my parents not watch movies? Because my parents, I grew up in a home where my parents didn't like us going out. So we were always indoors always indoors watching movies so i grew up with that bad habit of watching movies like i could spend a whole day in front of the tv but like that's one habit that i had to be conscious like intentionally work on because that's that's a sign of laziness to me i might be wrong let me know in the comment section below but to me i find that as i've reached 
use my screen time like even my phone screen time like before i used to be on instagram just mindlessly going through instagram youtube snapchat tiktok just be going around and you find yourself hours in that's also part of laziness. This is time, valuable time that you cannot get back and you just spent it doing something that's not even going to add value. God said that he's going to bless the works of your hands. So don't be lazy, walk. There's so many talents inside of you. Get up from that bed and work. See, we need to enjoy this life we came to. We shouldn't just be living life just allowing life to happen to us, happen to life. Don't just be living life, let life pass through you. Don't just be passing through life. You don't just want to exist. You want to live every day like it's your last day. You want to make every day count. You don't want to end up looking back and having a life full of regrets. So this is the time to start working on yourself on everything around you so that you have a better tomorrow the next point i want to go to is do not be a b-i-t-c-h especially with us women i don't know what is the big deal with being so nasty be nice be kind it will take nothing from you to be kind and be good and empathic showing empathy to other people it's not cool it's not a good look for you as a lady, as a gentleman, to be arrogant, to be good to people around you. Like the Bible says, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Be kind to people. Like, if you don't know what people are going through, just a smile from you, good morning. Like, I'm the kind of person that I go out and I see people and I smile. Good morning, how are you? Oh, you look beautiful. Like you even see a girl who will see you and she knows you look beautiful, she wants to say it but she's like, like life is not that deep. Like when I see pe people do certain things or act a certain way or think a certain way, I just wonder to myself like, life is not that deep but really. <laughs> like the good deeds you do today will open doors for you tomorrow. So be good. It won't take anything for you to be good to people. No man's an island, you need people. People need people. I think there's something like that. Be a good person, be a good friend, be a good family member. You don't want a situation whereby you grow old and you're by yourself. Be a good father to your kids. Be a good mother to your kids so that they will not run away from you in your old age. <laughs> My next point is you need to work on your baggages yes very deep but very important like i'm not gonna lie to you last year was when i really started that journey of working on my baggages like there's so many things that happen in your life that you just sweep under the rug if you don't work on your past traumas your baggages it will limit you so much and the more you keep sweeping things under the rug one day you just explode i'm telling you i'm telling you from experience like it might just be something so little that will just trigger it and you just so it's really important to deal with your past baggages it's important to deal with your past so that it doesn't affect your future you need to deal with your failures you need to learn to forgive yourself for the mistakes you've made in the past even though you won't let it go like you'll be covering carrying it literally like a baggage and you know when you're carrying something heavy it slows you down it doesn't make you move fast so you you want to move fast to this destination but you can't because you have so many things holding you and pulling you back so you need to let go of all that if you need to see a therapist go ahead see a therapist i know in this country we don't talk about mental health but it is so important like if you've been following me for years i don't know if you might notice there's been a difference in me and i just feel lighter you know and that brings me to another point communication vocalizing how you feel is so important like when i was younger i didn't used to vocalize how i felt at all i used to be such a people pleaser i did not used to tell people how i felt people used to just walk all over me but now honey you know like it's something i had to work on 
you need to learn to communicate, to be verbal about how you feel. Just imagine that you, you are your friend. You are just remove yourself from you and put your, yourself as a friend. You want this your friend to vocalize how she feels, to tell you how she feels, because keeping things in, ah, I'm telling you from experience, it's not, it doesn't help you. It doesn't help you, and especially telling people how you feel when you're wronged, because sometimes people don't even know. People are raised differently. The way you see things might not be the way this other person sees things, and talking about it helps. Telling people, having boundaries, having boundaries is so important. Telling people how their actions make you feel, like your feelings are valid. If you have to let people go, let them go. There's some people that no matter how many times you tell them, they don't care enough to want to walk on that thing that you told them and you know that you do this for that same person it's okay people come into your life for different seasons different phases in your life they come and they go if they go they're not meant to be there for the long run so just let them go like your mental health you need to work on it my next point is you have to learn to be a good listener if at this age someone is talking to you and you're not letting that person talk that's not good that's another thing i'm talking about working on your relationships with people that's one thing communication being a good listener there are sometimes that people just want to vent they just want to rant they don't need you to advise them at that point in time they just want you to listen like actually listen there are people that when you're trying to talk to them about something that need advice or something or you're trying to vent or rant they don't listen they try to make it about themselves you don't want to be that friend trust me you don't want to be that friend so sometimes then eh, just sit down and reflect have self-reflection like reflect on how you are as a person no other person will tell you like you will tell yourself like i don't know about other people for me i'm my biggest critic like there's nothing that you can tell me that i don't already know if you want to correct me on something i know because you have to don't act like you know everything you don't know everything you have to be willing to learn you have to be willing to grow the only thing constant about life is change you can't be the same person that you were five years ago uh -uh. what happened you have to con constantly keep on working to improve the person that you are so my next point is finance I feel like so many of these points I'm making in this video should be a video on its own but like your finance if in your 30s you are still just spending money anyhow you don't have investments you don't have savings you don't budget if you're if you have a business you don't pay yourself a salary your business account is your personal account at this age you can't be living your life anyhow you can't like you really 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 can't educate yourself the bible says knowledge is power but not just knowledge applied knowledge is power knowing things and actually doing them is two different things in this life man, you can't just not know things research like we live in a digital age that you can just carry your phone go on google and research different things there are books there are ebooks there are, like there's so this wealth of knowledge all around us but we don't want to read we don't want to what we don't want to read and you should because when you go out in public when people are speaking you should be able to open your mouth and you sound intelligent you know like you need to keep up with things going on around you you have to have a wealth of knowledge at your fingertips for example i see people ask me very basic questions like i love my community and i'm all for helping out any way i can but sometimes i can't help but feel like this question you're asking me is something that you could have researched on your own but we're lazy back to laziness we don't want to put in the work we don't want to put in the work we want everything to just be handed over to us and life doesn't work like that you have to learn to research yourself empower yourself with knowledge 
and apply it in your life. Next tip is you should not be scared to ask for help. You see why it's important to work on your relationships with people, with your friends, with your family? Because no one is an island, everybody needs help. Everybody needs help. So imagine if you are a witch, excuse my language, and you're not good to people. In your time of need, who's going to help you? But you shouldn't be too proud to ask for help. My next point is, at this age, if you don't know this by now, let this be a watchword. Humility. Be humble. Be humble. Like, even the Bible says, pride goeth before a fall. Don't be a prideful person. God will bless and reward the humble. Like, people always tell me, oh my God, life, you're so humble, you're so humble. Like, why not? Why not? Like, Humility, no matter what level you've got into in life, you should always be humble and God will keep blessing you. Life will, doors will keep opening for you, not when you bless yourself. So, humble yourself so that more blessings will come. Like, that's actually a command. Be humble. The Bible even says that you should humble yourself so that God will exalt you in due time. So, humility is a watchword. Like, I see so many people that are so proud, so arrogant. There's no need. There's no need. Like, it's even endearing when you see someone that is doing so well and you'd expect the person to be all high and mighty and the person is just humble. Be humble. And my last and final point is at this age, I'm sorry, I know there not everybody watching my channel is a Christian, but I just have to because I'm a Christian and I need to end this video on this note. At this age, you should be building your relationship with God, like you a personal relationship with God. When we're younger, you, it was a thing of religion. The Christianity that we knew growing up is not like you need to know God for yourself. You need to study the word for yourself and understand it for yourself. Trust me, a life with God is the best gift you can give to yourself, and it's a journey. It's a journey, you fall by the wayside, by the wayside, you get up, you keep going. God is such a good and kind God and he wants above all things for us to do well. He's a good and a kind God, like there's no good thing that he will withhold from us. There's so many things in the Bible, so many, like do you want to work on your finance? There's so many things in the Bible, everything that you can think of is in the word of God like that Bible there's so many secrets to a good life it's like you don't know who you are in Christ Jesus because if you know who you are in Christ Jesus you will command the earth to yield that increase for you you will use your words because there's power life and death is in the power of the tongue you will use your words to speak life into your life to speak life into your business to speak life into your family knowing god for yourself developing a personal relationship with god at this age is the best gift that you can give to yourself because when you put god first every not some every every other thing will be added onto you my life is a living testimony of god's grace i can tell you that for free like when people see me and they wonder like i've been in this game for years and i'm not a story of has been i'm a story of from glory to glory from grace to grace like i'm a city set upon a hill i cannot be hidden i bear forth my fruits because I am planted by rivers of living water, rivers of living water, like my supply is endless. So I have this confidence in God, knowing that my future is bright. Like when people talk about certain things, I'm not worried, I'm not bothered because God on the inside of me is greater than he that's in the world. I'm just happy, I'm just, I just rest in that knowledge that God has got me, you know? 
I don't want to talk too much, but like, really, I feel like the past few years, especially the past year that I've started attending the church that I attend, like, I've never attended a church that is so word based, like, they teach the word. So it's taught me to pray with the word. I feel like you should develop a personal relationship with God. Get to know God. Spend time with God. So I'm going to end this video right now. And I'm really sorry it got long. I was thinking this video would be like a 10 minute video. But I tend to ramble a lot if you're new to my channel. But yeah, I hope you guys learned a thing or two from this video. And if there's any other video that you guys would like from me, please let me know in the comment section below. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Trust me, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I love you, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.